Asthma is a respiratory condition that prevents normal airflow from outside to the alveoli of the lungs. During normal respiration, when we inhale, air goes in through the nose to the upper airways. Then it moves through the trachea or windpipe. The trachea branches into two large tubes called bronchi. Then inside the lungs, bronchi branch into smaller air pipes called bronchioli. Finally, from bronchioli, air moves inside tiny air sacs, called alveoli. So that gas exchange can take place. Oxygen moves inside the blood, while some carbon dioxide diffuses in the opposite direction from the blood into the alveoli. In people with asthma, a flow of air is restricted due to narrowing of bronchi and bronchioles. Bronchospasm due to asthma is caused by three factors constriction of smooth muscles around bronchi and bronchioles, swelling of cells and airways due to chronic inflammation, production of extra mucus due to inflammation and asthma triggers. These three factors cause the airways of asthmatics to narrow and swell. To some degrees, these factors can be present in people with asthma all the time. During an asthma attack, the degree of bronchoconstriction is even higher. As a result, asthmatics suffer from coughing, wheezing, whistling or rattling sounds in the chest, chest tightness, and difficulty breathing. In people with asthma, the immune system is hypersensitive in relation to various triggers leading to an allergic reaction affecting the lining of the airways. Common asthma triggers include house dust mites, pollen, mold, cigarette smoke, proteins from animal fur or pet dander, pollution, cold weather, and cockroach droppings. However, there are many other factors that can trigger an asthma attack. These include lower respiratory infections, overeating, anxiety, psychological stress, exercise, and even laughter. As a result, during an asthma attack, a person breathes even heavier through already constricted airways. This further worsens existing inflammation, increases mucus production, and bronchoconstriction. All of these factors can make some airways nearly completely blocked or clogged up with mucus, triggering the urge to cough receptors and causing coughing. In such conditions, normal breathing becomes difficult or impossible due to asthma symptoms that can be mild, moderate, or severe and life-threatening, where immediate hospitalization treatment is required. Acute asthma exacerbations, asthma attacks, and even deaths are most likely to occur during early morning hours or from about 4 to 7 a.m. during sleep. There are two lifestyle factors that dramatically increase chances of these problems at night. These are sleeping on the back, since supine sleep intensifies minute ventilation, the rate of breathing, and mouth breathing. The common approach to asthma is to use a bronchodilator medication, such as Ventolin, that relaxes and smooths muscles of the airways and dilates them, allowing easier airflow. Bronchospasm can be reversed with avoidance of triggers or elimination of inflammation. Apart from using medication, six randomized controlled clinical trials showed that people with asthma can reduce or eliminate their symptoms of asthma and main bronchodilator medications by about 90% using breathing exercises to slow down breathing back to the medical norms. This method of alternative medicine is called the Buteyko breathing technique. It has a rating from the British Thoracic Society showing higher efficiency of this method for asthma than yoga, meditation, nutritional intervention, or any other tested complementary therapy. For more information, visit normalbreathing.com or see other videos from our channel.